Fox 4, your local election headquarters, and with advanced voting well underway now, both candidates in Kansas' 3rd Congressional District rematch are trying to get out the vote. Fox 4's Jonathan Katz joins us live from Overland Park, where both Sharice Davids and Amanda Adkins spent some time today. Jonathan? Yeah, Lauren and John, this city and obviously specifically Johnson County seem to be the battleground right now as Johnson County, of course, is the biggest county and not just this congressional district, but the state. Congressional candidate Amanda Adkins brought Congressman Drew Ferguson to Overland Park Thursday. It's not similar than my district in Georgia. Both Ferguson and Adkins say this third district congressional race is one of the most competitive races in the entire country. The race is very close, I can tell you. We already know firsthand. <laughs> from our own data and from what we're seeing on the ground. Very close. Adkins says she has four Ask Amanda events over the next three days. Ms. Davids has not held a town hall since 2019. Uh, so when I'm out in the public, most people do not feel that she's accessible to the public. Congresswoman Sharice Davids, who spent part of her afternoon with students at Johnson County Community College, disagrees though. We're doing lots of public Absolutely doing lots of public meetings and making sure that uh, we're doing meetings that are uh, free and open to the public. And um, yeah, I think that uh, I, just, I think that's inaccurate. She would not say she has the advantage over Amanda going into next week, but she says she feels strong about her position. It's not because I ever take anything for granted. It's because we have such a strong volunteer base. We have people knocking on doors, um, going out and talking to their friends and neighbors and sometimes not friends uh, about really about what's at stake in this election. David's won this district by 10% back in 2020, but of course the congressional district has drastically changed since the Republican-led legislature redrew the lines this past legislative session. When asked what she thought about the New York Times poll that recently came out, saying that David's was ahead 14 percentage points going into next week, Adkins called the methodology in that poll garbage. John.